Hello, it's Sarah, and this is it, guys. OMG. It's the next day. But I worked very late last night. Like, this is the first project I've done in a while that I've, uh, I couldn't stop, and my back was killing me. Ugh. All right, so I've finished this one. The little vintage one is done. And I'm going to show you what I did to get her there. Um, Kiwi's with me. Hi, Kiwi. Do you have to go potty? Go ahead. I don't know. Anywho, arms are on. I did not have to go out and get those little eye screws. I used eye pins. And I'm going to show you what I did. And I remembered this because I did it before on something else. But she's got little legs with bells. And I put little bells on her hands. And I ended up using the pipe cleaner halo. I love them. And I'll show you how I put them on. Um, so yeah, so it's done. So now I'm working on the second one. And all I did to embellish this one was just put, uh, stickles all around the poinsettia. And I used, what is this called? The 3D fabric paint scribbles. This is the metallic gold, iridescent gold. So, I mean, I don't love it. It's not perfect, but I like the 3D effect that you get. Um, and then I put like, um, my glitter varnish on the rest of it glued this is a um, a button so one of my buttons I glued on top and that's it I glued the wings last night and that being said I would probably put the eye eye pins in first because doing the screwing and oh well, it's not screwing it's drilling and all that it's a little fudgy with the wings but I did it but just now that I've done it this way, I'll do it without the wings on and glue them last because it's just easier to work with. Um, and that's about it. But I love, and then I did her. This is my other girl. See, I mean, their faces are very much, I mean, they're like twins. And I didn't use a pattern. Her eyes are a little closer together. I used a little more of a blonde hair and I gave her bangs. And I don't know if I'm keeping these. Um, I think they look really good, though. I think they match perfect. But I kind of didn't like flower, flower, flower. I wanted a bow. But I don't have a bow. I ended up, I took this little pearl bow, and I used a Sharpie to turn it red. And I'm not loving that. I'd rather have a fabric one. So I think I am going to glue these on. They just look so vintagey. They have that little, like, wooden center. All right. But we need to finish this up. So we're going to do, I want to show you first though, real quick, how I did the um, halo. So I just did a sample to show you. I used, you can use any stapler, but I used my tiny attacher. Okay, this is what I ended up doing. Because I thought of a lot of different ways. Remember we started with what? I was going to use wire and like, Anywho, I ended up, and you could staple it on, you can glue it on or whatever. I'm impatient, so I just wanted the thing on there. And because it's a pipe cleaner, it has some strength to it. And you can really press this down, like if you had a hammer, just take a hammer so it's nice and flat. And then when you cut your felt, which I put away in, anywho, here's a piece of felt. You cut your felt out, and it covers it right up. So I just glued it with my, I like um, Fabri-Tac. That's my go-to glue. But so I, that's all I did under here. I stapled maybe three staples, hammered them down, made them nice and flat. Oop, my flowers are falling off. And then just covered it with the felt like I did in the other video. So I love how that looks. And it's in place. It's not going anywhere. Um, and then we have, I'm going to use an eye screw for the for the top that's what you're going to hang your ornament with that's the only time i'm going to use that what else all right so that's how to do that all right so now we're going to make her little arms and legs and i've made one leg and i made one arm because when i originally filmed her i filmed the other one doing it and it was just all over the place because i didn't end up using only the beads from that little bead strand i bought that inspired my color theme which i used a lot from my stash because i wanted to tie in i mean i don't know why i'm a color person so that gold and silver just wasn't enough for me um i used a couple 
but mainly I did just add a couple red and some green because this one was a little more Christmassy. So basically you're going to need a 20 gauge wire and I'm going to use silver for this one. I used gold for the other one depending on what your, you know, color scheme is. And I don't, you only need about um, three inches. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with like three and a half. So get your, you have to have a little cutting tool. So I'm gonna cut myself a piece about three and a half. And for the leg, you only need about two and a half. You don't need a lot. So just cut yourself a couple pieces of wire. And then you're gonna need those round nose pliers. These are here. I'm, I might, well, I'll zoom in. I'll try to make sure that you see what I'm doing. <clears throat> my nails are so I've been using um, the gel manicures the gel and I think it really weakened my nails they're a mess I'm gonna put something on them but right now I just have a strengthener on them and they're all cut really short because ugh. anyhow so you're gonna take it and I like to hold it kinda you're gonna grab the end of the wire kind of right in the middle there and turn it on itself and then loosen it and grab it and turn it on itself again so you end up making a little wire and I think Kelly 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 Calgrove or something taught me this and it's so much easier than just making a traditional jump ring or a little you know like um the, the exact kind that are on the t I mean this can be done and if you know how to do it do it if you want to do it whatever but this looks cute I'm making an arm it's not a traditional thing anyway so that's all you need just a little couple twists to stop it and then we're going to create her little arm and I gave her little these are called bead caps these little pieces of silver and they're just so delicate and decorative and then I put this red bead my bigger rounder red bead and I think these are just from Michaels and AC Moore they're just glass beads this one's definitely from Michaels or AC Moore it's probably a little more cheesy bead this is one from the one that the the strand that I bought, which is just a not even a glass pearl. I would say that's like a plastic pearl. The little rondelle, which was awesome, came in that strand that I bought. Then I have a bicone red bead and just this little kind of silvery glass bead. And then one of those cheesy silvers to end it off. And that's it. That's her arm. Oh, you know what? I forgot another. I need another. Oh, uh, sorry. You always check. And when I'm on camera, I mess up. But I put a. Um, I'm sorry. I put a, a bead cap on top and bottom of that red bead. So you want them to look the same. Because on this one, I didn't. I just did one on top. All right. But you got to make them look the same. That's. I mean, not really. I mean, whatever. <laughs> so. Uh, that's that and then you only need about like a half an inch oops a half an inch at the end to make your loop at the end so I'll cut this a little shorter so like about a half an inch take those round nose pliers again and grab it right around midway there turn it on itself grab and turn grab and turn until it comes down to the beads and you're done so I'll make my other um, leg off camera but I wanted to attach bells I really liked how this looked with bells on the ends but I don't I can't find my silver bells I have red gold and green in this size which is the perfect size and then I have these tiny little ones that I'm gonna put on the feet but these are super huge I don't know maybe I'll put them so to do that see, no these are so big I think I don't think they're proportionate you know what let's go red what the heck we'll do red oh I have them out all right and then you're gonna need jump rings so I have all these different I just throw them in this little case so I know where they are and this size has been that's what I'll attach my little bells with it's kind of like a medium sized jump ring my tiny ones actually I did use the tiny one let's see on the arms I didn't so to open a jump ring, you need two pliers. I have a needle nose plier and like a flat nose plier. And you open a jump ring by twisting it. You don't pull it, you twist it opposite each other. So you're gonna grab both sides and just twist. 
So now it has an opening where I can take my little bell and slip it on the end of that and then take my the end of my arm and put it on there and then you want to close it the same way. You just twist it back to itself. And that's it. I like it red. That's going to be fun. I like it red. So I'm going to attach um, bells to all of those, all right, to all my feet. I'll do my little bells um, on my feet. So now, how are we going to attach these to our doll? Well, I'm going to tell you how. We're going to use eye pins. And I happen to have, I have so much stuff and like I look through and I never use these because they're so short. So these little short stubby ones were perfect for what I want to do. And there's actually two different sizes in here. One's a little longer and one's a little stubbier, but I really like these little stubby ones are perfect. I want to say they're about a half an inch long. And what you're going to do is go up about not quite halfway up it, a third of the way up it and make a bend and then bend it all the way up like that. So you have this like, oops. So all I've done is made, it's still, but now it's double thick. Okay, so that's what we're going to use to go into our doll. And this was the part that's going to be a little tricky. Actually, I think I can show you this, but how I'm going to have, if the wings weren't on, I could probably do it. But I'm just, I'll pull my camera closer to me. Hold on. Because I need it to go to the end of the desk. Oh, sorry, Kiwi. Yeah, right there. Perfect. So see, I drew these little lines. I'm going to move this over. And I have my Dremel. So this is just a Dremel tool multi-pro, right? I don't think they're that expensive or anything. And I have my small, oh, <laughs> I'm not used to it being so good. I have my smallest little bit in here. And, <sighs> Madam Joe, I'm filming. And here's how you run the Dremel. So this little blue lever, if you push it all the way, it goes really fast. So you don't have to go fastest. You only have to do a little. So look. So on the bottom, I just made this little kind of measurement here that I want to put my legs here and here. So I'm just going to kind of go back and you just want to make it about in the middle, right? So in the center of this, the line down the middle of it. I'm going to put a little hole, two little holes. So I'm just going to hold it in place and gently, it's not in the center too good. I'm a little low, so I'll try to do my other one a little better. And you don't need to go in too deep. Then you're going to take your needle nose pliers, and where's that little guy we just bent? He was perfect. You're going to take him and just push him into your hole. It's really better if you go straight in like this. Like, don't hold it like that. It'll fall out. So hold it straight and just push, and it will stay. And you're good. Your little leg will stay on just fine. So let's do, let's put, um, my leg isn't ready. So let's, do, yeah, I want to, I might as well show you, because we can really keep this short. So that's it. You're going to do that to all four limbs. You need one for your neck. And I'm going to show you the neck separately. So let's do that. Let me, let me just attach. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attach my leg. So you need one of those jump rings. These are the nice bigger ones, so I'm not going to fudge around too much. You know, I, really, I just want to add my bell, too, because um, that way it's just... Ugh. We have these little tiny jump rings too. So let's see. These are a lot harder to work with, but I think I'll be able to do it. If you can see. So I'm going to open this. Take a little bell. Where the heck's the thing? Alright. And bottom of my foot. 
and then you just want to close it and it's a tiny jump ring so I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's tiny um, but this way you don't see a lot of extra all right I love it love it love it okay so here's the little the more reasonable sized one that you don't go blind open that one put it through his leg put it through the eye pin and close it voila adorable okay so now for the head let me show you something so what I decided to do I had her head on this is why I wanted to put her together to make sure I just didn't take up too much time but what I did was I connected the eye pins together so what I'm gonna do is instead of using a jump ring like I did on all the rest of them every everything else has a jump ring connecting the eye pin now this eye pin seems to be falling out a little bit hold on I might glue that it's a little loose I ended up I did put e6000 in the neck so that's gonna because this is the one that's gonna take the brunt of the pulling you know so what you want to do we're gonna let's go ahead and drill again so you can watch me drill and I'm just gonna go make sure I do it in the middle in the center and you know hope for the best just kind of get it lined up and then give a little pressure and it's not that hard it's really easy Ooh, that was a nice straight center um, okay so the same thing I'm gonna take two of these little stubby guys and about a third of the way up make an L and then just bend it all the way up kinda like that so it has a double thick thing right do the same thing on this one and bend it over on itself so it's double thick alright and now we're gonna connect the two of these so it's the same as a jump ring. You're going to hold it by one side. Wait, let me do it this way. I think the eagles are starting soon. So you hold it on one side and open it just like a jump ring. So I'm just going to pivot and turn so that it, it's open. I'm going to add the other eye pin and then close it just like you would a jump ring too. So just turn it towards itself. Now they're connected. This is my neck. Okay. So when I hear my little girl's head now that's the other thing let me go to the head we'll do that so everything else is the same you're gonna drill your four holes you're gonna make four of these little eye pins press them in there hold them and press them in and then you're gonna use your jump rings and attach your arms okay um, and then the same now with the head I decided to um, use one of the Tim Holtz eye screws for my head because I just want it to be stronger and bigger and I don't know why I wanted to put like the ribbon through it so see I have this nice ribbon so I use the gold one on her I like the way it looks okay so you're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna drill my head now this seems like it might be a little bit harder wood remember I glued this together these were two little discs I glued them together so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take her and go kind of center her head and go right through the felt and everything. Lovely. Then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take your eye screw by the um, pliers and just turn it in and screw it in so this is awesome and I like to turn it to the side and then when you add your ribbon I think I grabbed a red ribbon for this one I like to tie my ribbon if it's a the other one was much wider oh come on Kiwi, why are you so excited? Why are you so excited? All right. 
So I get a little length of ribbon, see, and then I put it flat together next to each other, and then I go over and make a knot like that. And it kind of, when you're hanging on the tray, it, it'll tend to be, it'll tend to face forward. So I'm just going to cut that off. And there's your little hanger. We need a neck hole. And I'll show you how we attach that to the body. What kiwi? So right in the center. Oopsie. Doesn't look like it's the center. I'm above it, so it's hard to judge. Good, right in the center. All right, so now I need to find those two little ones that I had. I'm gonna first put it in her head, and then I'm gonna put a little glue. We'll see how tight it fits. So you hold it and just press. See, I think I'm gonna have to press. Oh, sometimes it's a little wide, so you just have to um, narrow it a little bit. That looks good. Kiwi, what's the matter? Oh, here, come here. Come on. Come. She was telling me she had to go potty. And I wipe it off the floor in a second. But birds poo a lot. I have a hardwood floor in here, so. Alright, so just give it some pressure. Wiggle it in, and boom. It is in. Let me see what face. I face this to the side. And then I'm going to see. I should put a little glue. I'm going to take my E6000 and dip this end. That's tight, but I'm going to dip this in the glue. Oopsie. So just get a little glue on there. That's a little too much. Got to hold it tight. And then, oops, make sure your head's facing the right way. Oopsie, hold on. It's a little more fiddly than, you know, you think it is. This is actually falling out of her. I'm going to do, I'll do the other one then. Let's just, it's falling out. I think I'm going to need to um, glue the top too. No biggie, no biggie. Maybe I'll put this in here. So glue that in there, and then I, I'm going to add a little glue to this one too, because it's just going to, this is, this is taking the brunt of all the weight, so, and then we'll glue, put this one in. Oh, damn it, I think I need my hole a little better. Babe, don't you do it. I'm doing it. Oh, my God. I, I thought about metrics like matrix like this. Oh, Lord. Oh, see, it's falling out. It's falling out. Oh, Lord. Hold on. This did not happen with my other one. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, Lord. It's falling out. Oh, Lord. 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 Oh,
but I want to glue it, but maybe it's tight enough, see? No, I think it's tight enough. I'm going to attach. Oh, let's do this first. Bend. It's just so fudgy to have to attach it. I forget if I actually, actually I might have attached it after I put it in. So let's see how this goes in her head. Nice and tight. Okay. So maybe now I can attach it. But basically that's what you want to do. I think I'll try this. Okay. It might be a little fudgy too. But you see what I want to do? I want to open this jump ring. Well, it's really, it's, it's a, I don't know what they call it. But it's going to be hard. I got to hold it. It's tiny. But I'm going to do it. Just need to move it a smidge. I opened it. See? It's open. I don't know if you can see it. It's so tiny, guys. I'm sorry. All right. And then I got to just close it. You got to get in here. Here we go. Perfecto. Grab it. And grab this. See, it's hard to get... And then all the pulling. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to turn off the camera, though. I'm going to let you watch me. I'm not even going to... I'm just... There we go. You don't even need your other plier in there. And we're connected. I'm excited. Okay. So she's got a head. But it just looks so much better. Let me move my camera back now. So much better than having that extra jump ring. It made her neck way too long. So that is basically it. All right, let me, I might as well just finish up. So this was so fun. I absolutely love them both. I'm, they're equally my favorites. And um, I would love, love, love to see if you guys did this. If you did it, and guys, oh, I didn't even put my, the rest of my things in there. If you um, make one, post a picture on my Facebook page because, you know, I'm sitting here trying to think of things to do and all that, but you guys think of so much. Oh, I didn't even draw the holes yet. All right. Um, you think of things, and I would love to see a polymer clay face and all type. Oh, damn it. All right, I'm going to go off camera and finish them. <laughs> it's too fudgy. And it didn't go like that for my other one, but I'll just put her little arms over there. Look how cute. But look at her. My faves, they're so cute. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I did. I should probably sign them and put my name on it. Um, and I think I am going to glue these little flowers on here because I think they do totally go. Alright you guys, thanks so much for watching.